Hi guys. We're getting ready to start the flex and stretch class. So we're just gonna wait till some people come on this awkward moment where we're waiting for people to log on. Hopefully you join the class today. Hello, one. Hi. <laughs> we're just in that awkward space where we're waiting for people to log on a bit. <laughs> All right, thanks for joining. So if you caught my class last week, it's a, a, you know different than probably what you're used to taking, but it works on building strength and mobility. So um, go ahead and grab your mat. Um, you're gonna need a nice thick mat and a wall today. So make sure you have some wall space. Um, so while, um, People are coming on, make sure you set your little, uh, your home workout, your home gym uh, set up so we can, hi Frankie. Um, so I was just letting people know, you just need a mat today and a um, wall space today. So we're gonna do some strength and mobility, uh, a, little bit of, a little bit of flexing and stretching. So I don't really like to wait a whole long, uh, Whole lot of time here while people are logging on because people come on when they're coming on and it's going to be replaying for 24 hours I'll also post it up on YouTube since it is a hey Renee um, post it up on YouTube because it's going to be about a 45 minute class so let's get to it come on up we're going to start with a nice warm-up uh, some people uh, all you need is a mat today and a wall space all right so we're going to Go ahead and stand up. Let's warm up our joints. I like to do FRC. FRC is um, functional range conditioning. Some of you might be familiar with it, but they focus on joint health and joint strength. So we're gonna warm up the joints. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna tighten your body. When you tighten the, the uh, areas around what you're working, you get stronger. So go ahead and tighten your body. Hey, thanks for joining. We're gonna start with our neck. So you're just gonna do neck circle. So tightening. And it's basically an isometric contraction. So we're just gonna roll two times in each direction. And then go ahead and change directions. And if you feel any pain when you're doing these joint rolls, you skip over it. You don't go through the pain. All right, then we're gonna do your arms. So one arm at a time, again, tighten up. Uh, extend the fingers on the arm that you're working. You're going to extend the arm up and then you're going to go back. As you go back, you're turning the palm out. So then extend back and then start to unwind that arm and forward. So let's do that twice. So keep the rest of the body tight. Extend back. Make sure I got enough room here. <laughs> and then back unwind and you try to keep the movement in the joint so you're not moving the rest of the body as you're um, <clears throat> moving that hand or arm or whatever you're moving all right tighten up the other side arm comes up and I apologize I'm in an apartment complex and they decided to start leaf blowing <laughs> so you may hear a leaf blower <laughs> and then rotate up Good, repeat that. Tighten up, hey, thanks for joining. We're warming up our joints. So as you notice, I'm pulling back a little bit here, so I'm a little tighter on this side. And then reverse it. So you wanna to try to stay forward, warming up with the FRC stuff. All right, let's hit the thoracic area. So we're gonna hit this area, cross the arms over, tighten up the body, round forward and to the side, roll back and around. So making those circles. And again, we're not moving the hips. We're trying to keep it right in the joint we're working. Two times in each direction. And then reverse that. Real important to warm up before you get going. Thanks for joining guys. Wave them back at you. Okay, let's get those hips. Again, FRC, if you're on, I have a thick cushiony mat, 
So if you're on a thick cushioning mat, you might step off so the balance won't be as challenging. If you have to hold on to the wall, that's fine. Go ahead and tighten everything up. Extend out, rotate the foot up, and then down. So I'm leaning a little bit here, so try not to lean as we do this. And I was just telling everybody, all you need today is wall space and a mat. And we're gonna work on our strength and our mobility. So we're gonna have mobility and stretching incorporated into the workout. All right, switching sides. Again, tighten up the body. If you have to hold on to something, feel free. Out to the side, then rotate. So this hip is a little tighter for me. As you notice, I just leaned a little bit. Do the best you can. Keep the movement in the hip joint. Focus on your breath. And excellent, good. Bring it on down. All right, bring both arms up. Let's warm up, get some heat. You're going into your one second stretches, lateral line. What is that? That's your side body. All that fascia, all that connective tissue is connected from the side of your neck to the side of your foot. So warming up, one second stretches. You just go to that point of a slight stretch, let it bounce it back. Spring you back and then switch sides. Hi guys, thanks for joining. Just go ahead and grab your mat, set up your little workout space, <laughs> and you need a wall today. So make sure you have a little bit of wall space. It's all you need. <clears throat> so warming up the sides of the body. <laughs> you know, we're binging on Tiger King, <laughs> sitting, probably a bit more than we're used to. So let's get those arms above the head and things stretched out. All right, and then separate the legs. Turn the toes out or in, you decide, wherever you feel tighter. And then hands behind the head, and we're just on a forward fold. So you should feel this on the back side of the body. If you turn the legs out, you're probably gonna feel it more on the outer thigh and the back. Or if you turn the legs in, you might feel it more on the inner side. So you decide which feels a little tighter. Come on up, let's repeat the side bend one more time. Feet together, hip out. You should feel that warmth and that heat and the loosening. I'll look at the comments here in a second once we get going and try to answer <clears throat> as we go along. So just warming up, and this is actually training your, your fascia. Your fascia is your connective tissue. It connects everything in your body together. It's training it to be more responsive to quick movements, which is like everyday life. <laughs> and then switch sides. That's what your gym teacher never told you never to do, it, right? Get a little bounce with the stretch. As long as you don't push it too hard into that stretch, it stays safe. <clears throat> All right, then separate the legs. Either turn the feet in, turn the feet out. Hands behind the head, tuck the chin in, and forward fold. to the strength and mobility. Hey guys, so we're actually working on some probably more core and legs today. Let's see if we have any questions so far. No questions. Okay, good. All right. So ankles, starting with our feet today. All right, you're going to take an athletic stance. So we're just going to bend the knees a little bit. This is a really great warm up. If you've ever sprained your ankles, um, they're probably stiff. So take that athletic stance and I want you to roll 
both feet. So this one's rolling out, you're getting the outer stretch. This one's rolling in, let your toes lift up. So we're going side to side. <clears throat> side to side, warming up those ankles. So if your ankles are stiff, they don't have the flexibility to, to move. If you step off the curb and you roll your ankle, it doesn't have the flexibility and the mobility to go with that motion. Instead, it's, it's nice and stiff, and most likely you're gonna get it injured. So roll side to side. Warming those ankles up. It's often neglected area, unless you actually do. Now, if you wanna add some resistance, you're going to press into your hands as you go side to side. Always a good idea to add resistance. So you should feel that nice big stretch on the insides and outsides of the ankles. Now, <clears throat> come over to the wall. <clears throat> You're gonna put a lot of weight into your hands here, and I'm making fists. And then come up onto your toes and lean forward. The toes, knees are way over the toes here, way over. Put your weight into your upper body and then drop your heels, lift your heels. Drop your heels, lift your heels. Keep your weight anchored towards the wall. You should start to feel this nice stretch in the calves. If you need more resistance, step away. And you should feel this in your quads as well. Do not use your arms to help you. <laughs> Good, now come on up. Bring your butt to the wall. Walk your feet away from the wall. If you want to easier, you keep your feet closer to the wall. If you want the, if you, Siri just thought I'd talk to her. And now keep your feet away from the wall if you need a heart, more of a challenge. Hands on the hips, legs stay straight here. And you're going to lift the entire foot up so your heels are anything touching. And then down, up and down. So legs stay straight, do not bend the legs here. So we're working on this lower leg strength and mobility. And I'm sure many of you have had sprained ankles. I have knock on wood. <laughs> I have not had a sprained ankle. My feet have always kind of rolled. They'll roll, but I've never injured anything. Knees, that's another, that's another issue. So just keep lifting up. You should start to feel the burn in the front of the legs. So lifting the whole foot up so under the heel is touching. Now, lift and hold. Lift and hold, lift and hold, lift and hold, lift and hold. And release, good. Back to our ankle mobility. So, one hand on the outer, one, and you're going to roll in the direction of the hands. And then switch. You can widen your stance. You can narrow the stance. Working on that ankle mobility. You can stand up a little taller and go side to side. You should be feeling a nice stretch in the ankles. And it might start to move up the leg too. Great, okay, calf raises. <clears throat> your weight is in your upper body. Come up onto your toes. Your knees are forward. 
almost like a squat, right? Your knees are forward. And then you're dropping the heels and lifting as high as possible. If this is too easy, one leg at a time. That makes it way harder. <laughs> You should feel a nice stretch on the end of that. Switch sides if you're doing it one leg at a time. Keep going if you're doing it two legs at a time. Up. Your heel does not touch the ground. You're staying on the ball of the foot. And you're getting a nice stretch as you drop back down towards the floor. So getting a full range of motion, working on your ankle mobility. And release, good, come back to the wall. Need more of a challenge here, you step away. My girl Shante, the movement maestro, calls these butt scratchers, I love it. <laughs> I love the technical term butt scratch scratchers. So lifting those toes up, and down. So you might be asking why in the hell are we doing these lower leg exercises? Well, your base is your feet. When you have stronger feet and more mobility in your ankles, it helps the rest of your body, especially upstream into the hips. Your hips will be more open, <clears throat> they'll be more mobile. And release, great guys, okay. Moving on, getting into the core stuff. So, we're going to start with our single arm plank. I'm gonna get a timer out. Remember from last week, Widen those legs. We don't want to see the hip dropping. We don't want to see it, the butt lifted up, okay? So try to keep it nice and steady. Here we go. We're aiming for 20 seconds. Cross that arm over for your plank. Focus on your breath. Three two, and one, switch sides. Keep your shoulder out of your ear, nice and strong. If you can't do 20 seconds, that's fine. Do what you can and down. Good, come into side plank. <coughs> Lift the hip up. Modifications here. You can drop a leg down. You can crisscross your legs. Okay, here we go. Coming up, and you're gonna drop the hip, lift the hip. Drop the hip, lift the hip. And switch sides. Let's reorient here. Other side, lift the hip up, stack the shoulders, stack the hips, and then dip and lift.
Great, come on down, reverse plank. Couple options here. Your hands can be, fingers can be facing towards you. And then I want you to lift the hips up and hold. We're holding, so we're, again, you don't wanna see one hip dropped and you wanna extend this, the hips as much as possible, squeezing your butt. Now, that's easy for you. Straighten your legs and lift up. Again, activating the posterior chain and isometric hold, keeping your neck in line with your spine. And that's hard to <laughs> figure out where your head is in space in this one. Keeping the butt squeeze, 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 squeeze. And release. Okay, back to the top. Single arm plank. So coming into your plank position, shoulders down, out of the ears, widen the legs to where you feel like you can stabilize the hips. So again, we don't want these hips rocking, dipping, or lifting. So nice and strong, 20 seconds. If you can do 20 seconds, that's the goal. One arm at a time. Okay, good. I can see myself here. I can make an adjustment so my hips are a little rotated. The advantages of having it on camera. <laughs> Switch sides. Focus on your breath and release. Side plank. So coming down into that side plank, Scoot back a little bit more. All right, here we go. Stack the hips, stack the shoulder, modify as needed. So try not to be like this. Get those hips or get those shoulders in line. Hips too. A lot of times this front one will want to rotate back. Take a look at your hips, make sure they're stacked. Switching sides. <clears throat> and at any point in time, you feel like you need to take a break, take a break. Get some water, towel off. If you feel any pain, you stop. You'll feel muscle burn sometimes, but you should never work through pain. If you need a little water, moving on to our legs. So go to a wall. You're gonna step forward with one leg. Let's get into some mobility stuff. Kick this foot up. If you can't grab it, get a towel or a strap and grab it. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna squeeze your butt, push your hip forward. Squeeze your butt, push your hip forward. You're changing the angle as you move into the stretch. So it's gonna look a little bit something like this. So let's see if I get my balance. All right, squeeze the butt forward. Turn it a little bit, squeeze, squeeze. So you're moving the hips. Squeeze the butt, press your foot into your hand as you open up the front of the hip. Squeeze the butt. Get some resistance. 
keep changing the angle. Most of us are super tight here. We can't even extend this hip. It's stuck here, so we can't even flatten that out. So you want to squeeze the butt, push the foot into the hand, create some resistance. Switch sides. Same thing here, squeeze, extend, squeeze the butt. You'll probably notice one side feels a little tighter. And maybe you can't contract the glute as well on one side. So this left side is actually feeling a lot tighter on me than my right side, but my right side is what's been giving me grief lately. And usually is what gives me grief. Okay, so go ahead and release that. Now, Squeeze the butt. Now your hips should be open. You should be able to flatten out the front of the hips a little bit. Cross your arms in the front and go back as far as you feel comfortable. And then back up. So you're contracting and you should feel a stretch in the quads. Some people actually can go all the way down. <laughs> That's amazing control and strength. Come on down, let's get those glutes. So onto your back, hug one knee into your chest. Single leg bridges, and again, we're trying to get hip extension here. So lift up and down. And holding onto your other leg, what that does is uh, limits you to recruiting this kick. Right? So we want to focus in on the hamstrings and the glutes as we extend this leg, this hip up. Makes it a little bit harder. Good, switch sides. Ways you can vary this, you can speed it up, so you can slow it down, right? I'm gonna get your heart rate up, speed it up. I'm gonna focus more on strength and control. Slow it down. Keep your hips even here too. Try not to let that knee wobble too much. So you're pressing strong with the foot, stabilizing the knee. So interesting, my left side that felt tighter when I was doing the stretch, I can't lift as high. So that restriction in the front is affecting the back and my, the activation of my glutes. So we're going to go ahead and do that again to so loosen it up and see if we can get more glute recruitment next time around. So back to the, the stretch. Again, press the foot into the hand and then squeeze the butt as you move forward. So you guys let me know what type of stretches you want to do at the end. What do you guys need? So just 
just leave a comment. A lot of lower body today. <clears throat> Usually knees <laughs> opening a bit more. Although a lot of people come in with shoulder stuff these days. Well, guess these days nobody's coming in. <laughs> Go ahead and switch sides. But I hear, I hear a lot. <laughs> people with shoulder and neck stuff. So second time around, my hips feeling looser. I don't know about you guys. How's your hips feeling? They feeling a little more open? All right, step it back. Cross the arms in the front, squeeze the butt, engage the glutes. Lower back and up. So I feel like I can get a little bit more this time. It's a scary one. <laughs> Do you want to fall? On down bridges, single leg bridges. <clears throat> Hug one knee into your chest. Press firmly with your foot and lift the hips up. Go ahead and switch sides. Great, bring it on down. Okay guys, grab a little water. We're gonna go into just a little bit more and then we'll get into our stretches. We did this last week. It's really great for opening, again, very hip leg centric today. Elephant walk. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna bend both legs and then when you come up, you're gonna straighten one. Bend both legs, alternate, straighten the other. So it's gonna look a little bit like this. Bend, straighten, bend, straighten the other leg. So go back and forth. So again, incorporating the stretching mobility with the strength. With a, <laughs> with a few snap, crackle, and pops for me. <laughs> Pop. I mentioned this last week, always try to breathe, inhale and exhale through your nose. So, you know, a lot is in the news about how people are not have, are having difficulty breathing and with the ventilators and everything and the shortages. And the first thing that popped in my head is this um, book I read called The Oxygen Advantage and I highly, highly recommend it. It's an amazing book and it teaches you simple, simple techniques to 
increase oxygen delivery into your body. And the simplest thing is breathing through your nose, not through your mouth. A lot of people that snore breathe through their mouth. Uh, a second one is actually breath holds. Increases the oxygen delivery to your body. So what that means, on the exhale, you hold your breath as long as you can. So you feel the need to breathe and then you breathe again. That builds up the CO2 in your body and the act of doing that allows more oxygen to get into your body, to be delivered to your body. Okay, hip flexors. To make this easier, you lean back. You make this harder, you lean forward. We often have short and weak, short and weak hip flexors. Okay, so go ahead, keep the feet relaxed this time, and I want you to lift up and down, up and down. You should feel this right in here. If you need easier, we're here. You make this harder, you're here. You can barely lift. <laughs> so lift up and down, up and down. together. <clears throat> You're using your elbows for resistance. Resist squeezing up and then resist squeezing down or for lowering because <laughs> you don't squeeze down. Resist squeezing up. Use your elbows. Keep lifting those legs up and then your elbows are resisting as you lengthen and stretch. Lean slightly forward. One more time. Up. Let's go two more times, actually. And then resist as you go down. And then one more time, up. And resist as you lower down. Great, good. All right, back to those elephant walks. Come on up. <clears throat> you can play around with the width of your legs. So, and the ankle. Right? You can angle out or angle in like we did earlier. <clears throat> so, bend both legs, then straighten one. Alright, I'm feeling much more open in my hips now. If you can't reach the floor, just elevate your hands to a block, a couch, a chair, whatever. <laughs> All right, and then bring it on down. Hip flexors, let's strengthen those hip flexors. Again, lean back to make it a little easier. Lean forward to make it a little harder. Keep the feet relaxed. And lift and lower. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, how was that? <laughs> one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Hold for 
five, four, three, two, and one. <laughs> I'm so okay. <laughs> Feet together. Adductors. And then we're gonna get into some stretching. Use the elbows for your weight. So squeeze it on up. Resist. Keep squeezing those legs up as you press those elbows into legs and they're resisting on their way down. Come back up. Keep squeezing. And then down and then up. Two more times and resist down. Get into the groin adductors and up and resist down. Great. Good job, guys. We're going to go into our stretches now. So let me see if anybody made, anybody made any comments for stretching. What do you guys need? What do you guys need? Hopefully those hips and legs are feeling light. I get the same, yeah, get the same crunch sound. So someone comment, I, yeah, I get the, I think I have a torn meniscus, so I get that crunchy, crunchy in my knee. Um, for the most part, it doesn't bother me, but I don't run anymore because of that. So, and I just don't have the interest in running. So, um, yeah, I just walk these days. So, stretches, guys. So we did a lot for the hips. We opened up those hips a lot. Um, if you have a towel or a strap, let's do um, uh, an IT band stretch. We're gonna go down to the hips. So grab a, ta a towel or a strap, and go ahead and come on your back. So we did, uh, you know, we did some adductor stretching. We did some hip openers. Um, <clears throat> you're just gonna loop that over, okay? Now, what you're gonna do? I'm gonna actually switch legs, so you guys can see this a little bit better. So, with you're gonna resist. So these are all resistance stretches, the most efficient way and effective way to stretch. So you're gonna use the outer hip. You're going to resist. So you're actually gonna pull your arms opposite. So I'm on my left leg. I have the towel in my right hand, and I'm pressing out. Good, relax. So you should activate the outer muscles of that leg, especially you should feel it in the side butt. Keep pressing out to the left if you're done your left leg. And now we're gonna have to, yeah, we're gonna have to switch this. And then switch your hand and bring the leg across now. So now you should start to feel that down the side of the leg. So you're gonna have to play around with the, the arm switch. So kick it out, keep kicking it out as you bring it across. Keep kicking it out, keep kicking it out. You might feel this in the hamstring if you're pulling weight up. And then let's do that one more time. Keep kicking out and away. Just keep that resistance as you go into the stretch. Good, all right, switch legs. So the important thing is just to keep resistance. However that is, you can bend this leg too. <clears throat> however that is for you, what, however you can maintain that, that's fine. All right, opposite arm and leg, kick out, relax. Kick out. And relax. One more time, kick out. Keep kicking out as you draw the leg across. And kick it out. Keep kicking out as you draw the leg across. One more time, kick it out. And keep drawing that leg across as you're keeping that resistance. So I hope that makes sense. A little awkward with this one. It's much easier when you have somebody go up to you. <laughs> All right, and now <clears throat> let's get into hamstrings. So you can use your towel here if you want to use your towel. You can also just lift up and use your heel. So you're gonna, sh it's gonna be a bit like hamstring. I want you to kick down into your hands Relax the foot, <laughs> keep kicking down, 
as you extend up. Kick back down, and again, you keep that resistance. Keep the resistance. You can use your towel if you want to use your towel. That's completely fine. And now you're probably going to feel a lot of stretching right behind the knee. And then one more time, down. Keep kicking down. Keep the resistance as you come up. Go ahead and switch that. So if that hurts your head, feel free to use your towel. Start with the foot relaxed, and you're going to kick down, like you're doing a leg curl. Keep kicking down as you come back up. Kick down. Keep your knee into your chest here. So your leg shouldn't be like this. Try to get that knee into your chest as much as possible. Keep the foot relaxed, make sure you're not using the lower leg, but you're focusing on the hamstring here. And again, you can see I have more flexibility on my right side, which like I said earlier, my right side gives me more grief than my left side, but my left side's tighter. So there's definitely some imbalances there. Great. All right, and you don't have to go straight with that leg. Come on up, and those are a couple of little leg stretches there. Um, we did a lot throughout, hi guys, <laughs> throughout the class. Um, let's see if we have any other questions. I think that's about it for today. You guys have any more questions, please don't hesitate to DM me directly um, for you know any aches and pains that you're having, stretches that you'd like to see, um, you know, all that good stuff. Or just to say hi. <laughs> it does make <laughs> hi from Italy. Awesome. I'm I'm part Italian. My last name is Mastro Giuseppe. <laughs> um, do not speak Italian though. Um, uh, hopefully you are doing well in Italy. We all are thinking about you and what you're going through. So, you know, hang in there. Every It's going to be okay. Thank you, Renee. Thank you every, everyone for joining. And again, message me if you have any questions. I also do offer um, 30 minute and 60 minute Skype, WhatsApp, whatever, video um, session. So if you have a specific thing that you need to work on, reach out. I can help you out. So again, thank you so much for joining. And next week at 11, we're going to do it again. Next week, Tuesday at 11, we'll do it again. <laughs> so talk to you guys later. Bye.